I wish to demonstrate today the use of the TI-83 and the 84 in how to find normal probabilities and how to find Z's when you have a probability given. The first problem I'd like to work with is the probability that Z is less than or equal to 2.1 and in drawing a picture, which always helps, we're looking at this particular probability. So we go to the calculator turn it on and we go to second distribution and this screen comes up. We want to always select for finding probabilities the normal CDF. So we do the normal CDF and then I'm going to put negative 10 in here for a reason because I need a left Z. And at negative 10, nothing is really beyond 10 standard deviations to the left of the mean. So we'll start at negative 10, we'll put a comma, and we'll put a 2.1 parenthesis, and we will see the probability at 0.9821. The next problem I'd like to do is to find the probability that z is greater than or equal to 1.5. So again, we'll go to second distribution, normal CDF. And now we want to be greater than 1.5, so we'll put in 1.5, comma, and then we'll do plus 10, because we want to go out at least 10 standard deviations and get rid of most of our probability. And with that, we find the value of 0.0668, 6% out beyond 1.5 standard deviation. Now, the third problem, <clears throat> I want to find the probability that z is between negative 1.1 and 2.3 standard deviations. So, back to the second distribution, normal CDF, and I'm going to type in negative 1.1 comma 2.3, and lo and behold, we get 0.8536. So that's the way you use the calculator to find probabilities. Now, if you want to find the Z value when you have a probability, Suppose we have a probability of 0.8911 to the left of some z value. So I'll go to second distribution, and I will do inverse normal. Only requires one number, and that's the probability to the left of the z that you want. So we'll type in 0.8911, parenthesis, and we find a z of 1.23.